a fuck. I mean, giant. and if it wasn't, then why should they trust it? Listen to you this shit. You wouldn't trust a computer that wasn't intelligently programmed, and you wouldn't use a calculator that wasn't intelligently put together. So why should you trust your brain or your thoughts if it wasn't intelligent? Well, why should I? So this fucking guy. Ugh. You would have fucking understood this. Fucking function. Total fucking badass. I haven't walked across a fucking highway. Another fucking thing that you don't ever seem to understand. Your reasoning is so Eric Hovind like. So I may have said some mean things in my video response response to once forgiven now free. Uh, in the middle of editing it, uh, my wife called me and asked me to go to a movie, uh, and so I had some time to think about what I said, and I wanted to rephrase things uh, a little bit more clearly. By watching one of Once Forgiven, Now Free's videos, you've essentially seen them all. Usually, they start with a faulty understanding of something, and then it builds on from there into some other ridiculous conclusion. Uh, this one is essentially a reframing of Eric Hovind's uh, argument of generally uh, the assumption of solipsism for an atheist, uh, which the only real answer is an axiom, atheist, and anybody, uh, operate from an axiom of trusting your own thoughts. If not, you wouldn't be able to function at all. We don't operate on absolute truth, and this is a problem that you're asserting, uh, and it's also a problem that you made up. So, uh, from back in my Christian days, uh, we would talk about why other religions were false, and generally, they were built on the whole idea, or the arguments against them were built on the entire idea that they don't have the Bible, so they're false. Which is a problem that we created ourselves. To respond without getting as frustrated... If you would have watched my fucking video... The problem that I have is that you don't care at all to analyze any of the shit that you're spouting. And that's essentially what every atheist grievance with you stems from. Uh, your ability to parrot whatever crap you hear from apologists without checking them out um, is essentially the root of all of the problems that you're having. And you may feel comfortable just assuming there's absolute truth and then stumping everybody that can't uh, contend with that because it's a ridiculous claim. Uh, if that makes you feel comfortable, that's fine. But if I would have watched any of your other videos before I watched the claim uh, or challenge that you issued to atheists... I wouldn't have responded to anything. Uh, I, uh, uh, this is why I don't put comments on fucking YouTube videos. And if you're wondering, the movie was Runner Runner, which was uh, Justin Timberlake and Ben Affleck. Um, there's a lot of Justin Timberlake techno babble that it's evident that he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, and that kind of took me out of the movie a little bit. Uh, and Ben A just plays a uh, generic bad guy, asshole. Nah, he could have passed up the role. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. Have a good one.